I love animation, whether it's watching it or making it. And I've noticed a trend recently, not just in animation, but in almost every software I use day to day. It's something that's honestly been keeping me up at night. And that is artificial intelligence tool AI chat creations used to be AI and chat engine chat GPT. Taking the world by storm. AI. But what does this have to do with animation? Is AI going to take our jobs as animators? And can you actually get animation with one click? Well, I recently found a new software and put it to the test to see what it's really capable of. And let me tell you, the results at the end of this video are pretty insane. So I want to break down some of its best features and hopefully show you that it's not all doom and gloom. The software I'm talking about is Cascada, and it's not often that you get to see a whole new animation software come around. I mean, look at this. So basically, a small game company named Neki has developed and released this software about four years ago. However, only recently was this software released to the public for free. Every single aspect of this thing is free for you and me to abuse. Essentially, it's an all-in-one animation suite and has everything an animator might need. From the graph editor all the way to rigging, this thing is a super powerful tool. But the main reason why this came onto my radar is because of the AI assisted features. So let's cover them quickly. You burn my house to the ground! My family's dead! What do I do? I'm starting off with the heavy hitter auto posing. When I first started playing with this feature, I thought it was just some kind of gimmick but it's actually super powerful. So generally when you're creating your key poses, you jump in and set up your character joint by joint in the position you want. You then set up a keyframe for each major pose and then move on to the other stages like splining and polish. Usually there'd be some FK or IK controllers that you can switch on and off, but generally speaking, this is the process. As you can see, it takes a while and honestly, getting the key poses down is extremely important as these determine the major actions of the shot. It basically shows you in the most minimal information possible what the actions and movement of the animation will be. So with Cascada, they actually have a setting that you can toggle on here, which is called Auto posing. This essentially uses their built-in AI to assist in determining what the most natural pose would be. So for example, I can move the legs or the arms and the whole rig follows suit. Instead of painstakingly moving each individual joint, I can simply hit this button and automatically the best physically accurate pose gets created in seconds, which is super powerful. So with this tool enabled, I'm able to set up a super simple blockout of my animation and it's way faster than the traditional workflow. And speaking of time savers, I want to show you my favorite platform to learn new skills. And yes, this is sponsored by Skillshare, but I want you to stick with me here because I think you're going to get a ton of value from this. Skillshare is an online learning platform curated to show the best of the best creators. Whether it's 3D, logo design, or even cooking, they have literally thousands of classes to offer. Not only that, but it's entirely ad-free and has some insanely great value once you start digging into the classes that are actually available on here. If you're watching my videos, you probably already know half the creators here. For example, there's Southern Shoddy, Bad Normals, and hey, even this guy. He seems pretty cool. Skillshare is honestly where I learned the majority of Blender basics and I want to highlight Southern Shoddy's collective classes here. Each of these are under an hour long, extremely easy to follow, and will get you super comfortable with Blender. If you're still watching this and aren't convinced, well then Skillshare has hooked me up with an amazing offer for you. The first 1,000 people to use the link below will get a full one month free trial of Skillshare. You can binge all of these amazing classes during that time and start getting serious about learning Blender. Grab your free month below and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So now we know about auto posing and how it can quickly streamline your workflow, but I want to show you the most powerful tool in this software. When you're an animator, some of the most time consuming activities come in what's known as the polishing stage. This is where your animation is essentially done, but you're adding in small things to elevate it from average quality to insane. I can't tell you enough how painstaking this process can be. I remember in my final trimester of uni, I was up all night, drank an unhealthy amount of energy drinks, 
and just trying to cram the final stages of my graduating piece. That morning, I went to bed for a few hours before having to present this in class. I closed my eyes, and instead of dreaming, I was literally editing the graph editor. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because as an animator, you don't need to push yourself to these unhealthy extremes like Younger Smeef did. Especially with these amazing tools available to us now like Cascader and this thing called Auto Physics. So, what is Auto Physics? Well, once you finish with your key poses, instead of moving on to the polish stage, putting in overlapping motion and essentially adding everything manually, you just press a button and it does it all for you. With one click, this has the ability to use their integrated AI and physics-based system to elevate your animation in literally seconds. For example, check out this simple jump animation. There's about three keyframes here with simple interpolation and once this button is pressed, it magically shows what it would look like with the auto physics enabled. You can also modify all the physics settings here in the side tab, as well as things like secondary motion to get exactly what you're looking for. I mean, just look at these amazing examples, all of which were made and enhanced with this awesome auto physics tool. Now, don't get me wrong, this software is amazing, but I think there's still a long way to go before AI completely removes animators from the pipeline. So before all this AI gets fully integrated into our workflows, there's still one massive problem I see a lot of beginner animators make when starting out with animation. And if you'd like to fix that, you'll want to watch this video right here.